Moto Perpetuo you can consider as an etude with piano accompaniment. The part looks pretty boring. Look, Moto Perpetuo is written in G minor with two flats and in 2-4 two, two beats in a bar. But then you see the endless chain of eight notes and many repetitions of the first theme in G minor. But it is a good training for a steady, constant stroke and for your endurance. The piece is in G minor, but maybe you know we have three types of minor. This time we have melodic minor. It is different going up or coming down. Listen. Going up it is G, A, B e flat, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and going down you have G, So you have both the E flat and the E and the F and the F sharp. You play the piece with your bow around around the balance point of your bow. Short strokes and when you play it Make sure your left hand, the fingers of your left hand, come before your bow, a fraction of a second. First, the finger. For practice reasons, you can vary the stroke, you can play in the upper half too. short. As I said, it is an etude with piano accompaniment. Now I'll play the whole thing again with or without you and then you get the piano alone to play and to practice. Good luck! I count two bars before. One, two, two, two.
I love mellow cello and I find moto perpetuo a very good attitude to practice different types of strokes and to get a good concentration. I hope you agree. I should not forget to remind you of practicing slowly, slowly, slowly and repeating it over and over again until you are really familiar with the piece. See you soon again. Until then, take care and so long.